So OpenAI has just released some open weight, open source models. Check this out. We've got GPT OSS. This dropped yesterday. Today is August the 6th, 2025. And these are open weight reasoning models. I'm going to show you in this video how to download these and use them for free on your local machine. And let's just get right into it. We're going to be downloading and running via Olama, the 20B version. So it's about 14 gigabytes in size. There's a ton of stuff you can read if you're the reading type and want to know all the nitty gritty details here on the actual post announcing this. But we're going to go over to Olama and do the work. So you can find all of the open source models, or many of them at least, here on Olama. I've previously done some messing around back um, with Meta's Llama models that they put out. Llama, Olama, don't be confused there, different things. But at the top of the list, no surprise, we've got GPT OSS. And as you can see here, we've got uh, where you can call the latest version or the specifically the 20B or the 120B. It shows you the size and the context window and the input type. So you can only do text input. This is not multimodal, but it is pretty sweet because you can now download ChatGPT's latest and greatest. Well, maybe not the greatest, but their latest and uh, newest open source model onto your local machine and not have to fool with the chat interface, log in anywhere, nothing like that. To do this, let's start back here on the Olama page. First, you got to download Olama. And when you click this, it very simply, I'll download it again. It very simply, you pick your system and then it will download an exe file. I've done that already. I've run the file and it installs Olama. When it's installed, you'll see down here on your computer, this little guy. This is Olama running in the background. It's also going to open up a desktop application. So let me open it back up. And this looks very familiar, right? This is just like you see with ChatGPT. In fact, it looks exactly like ChatGPT, only with a llama face right here in the middle. This is how you can select and then chat with all of these different models. So, and I wonder if they're all in here. It looks like only a select number of them are available for use inside of this desktop application. There's another way to do this though. If you open up your terminal and we select Olama or we type Olama, the command, we'll see that A, will. if we get an error, we haven't installed something right. But you'll see by the returned commands here for Olama that everything's installed and here's what we can do from the terminal. So in order to do it in the terminal, you got to go Olama, run, and then whatever model you're going to use. And so in our case, what we say, GPT OSS, it's much more safe to just copy the commands. So down here, it's Olama run GPT OSS 20B. So if we come back over here, we can just type in Olama run GPT OSS 20B. The first time that you run this, it is going to download those 14 gigabytes of files that it needs to use. It's going to download the full model. I just did that a minute ago, so it goes straight to the message. Hey, can you give me a single page website? Are you still stuck doing manual tasks that you should have automated a year ago? Gotsheet is my free weekly newsletter that I created for solopreneurs and marketers like you to help automate, grow, and scale their businesses without having to hire a team. It's free, it's actionable, and it lands in your inbox every week. Subscribe below, gotsheet.xyz, link is in the description. So you can type in whatever type of messages that you usually type in here. And in these GPT OSS models, it's going to actually pop up a little dialogue here showing you what it is thinking, what it is doing, how it is reasoning through these tasks, which I find to be pretty cool. So it's going to do that for a bit, and then it will end up in full text uh, displaying the output. Now, another thing to note, I do actually, and maybe you're this way too, I do like the the interface of the chat window here. This is one that I did earlier where we were making a, another single page website. We did some LinkedIn posts, just your normal throwaway content creation that people use this stuff for all the time, just as an example to show that it works. But if you like ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, the interfaces with the chat, you know, that you can collapse over on the left side and uh, just chat back and forth, 
it looks exactly like it. I mean, this is uh, quite a usable and familiar interface that you can do using just this desktop application. Back here in the terminal, for those that are more used to the terminal or that prefer it, you can uh, get the same results. It's just going to be in this terminal mono uh, spaced font type of form that coders are going to be used, used to. And you can see down at the bottom, we've got the code. Uh, it actually writes it in Markdown. These three little dashes are for uh, Markdown formatting to show that this is going to be a code block. So it's gonna write the HTML in Markdown and it's going to give it to us in the same way, kind of slow. So slower than you might be used to using some of the Frontier models available online if you're a paid or even a free user of stuff like Sonnet and uh, 4.0 from uh, ChatGPT. But nonetheless, this is local and secure to the extent that your computer is secure and private to the extent that your computer at home is private. So I like this as an option. All right, here we are sort of at the end of it doing its thing and it's showing us how to use this. Even if we don't know anything, it will give us some um, directions to actually get it up and hosted somewhere. We copy this into a file name index, replace the action attribute on the form. So I've got a sign up form and we would need to replace that with something else to make the form actually work and then host it like GitHub pages, Netlify, Vercel, static host, and then you open the site obviously in the URL. Now there's a little bit more to these steps than what meets the eye, but you could dig into as you can with all of these LLM models and ask it for specific directions when you get stuck. We're not gonna fool with that. What we are gonna fool with is just simply taking this over here into a notepad, paste this in, save as index, go to our desktop and open that. There it is. There we go. It's uh, not a very pretty, but it is a web page that works. Welcome to my personal landing page where ideas meet execution. Dun, 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 and sign up. All right, so kind of dramatic, dramatic there, but uh, it, you get the point. This actually works, and it was all done locally and privately on my computer. A lot of this is new to me. I don't usually run things locally like this, but I like being able to if I need to. For you more experienced users, how and why are you choosing to do this with Olama? Is it for the sport of it, or is there actual use cases in healthcare, finance, um, where data is more secure and you need local storage options, local LLM options? Uh, I'd love to know about those. Let me know in the comments below, or just check like down there, click like, subscribe to the channel if you like stuff like this or yours truly and want to see more about it. Have a great one.